What was something you did as a kid that you thought was badass but as an adult you find cringy? I used to wear padlocks on my belt loops. For extra stupid. They were padlocks I'd busted off the lockers in PE class with a shoe. So there I was walking around with four or so padlocks dangling from the belt loops of my JNCOs. Ugh. Got that drip. Grade 1 I took one of those chocolate coins in gold foil. Put a hole in it and ran a string through. And tied ER around my neck. Went to school bragging I won a medal in a hockey. This is hilarious. Saying bad morning to the teacher. Saying present instead of here. Saying absent when your name is called. I know teenagers who still do that unfortunately. Teenage years definitely fall into the kids category in this question. I remember signing up for a martial arts class and wearing a black and red GI and a red belt on my first day thinking I would look totally badass. My instructor made me take off the belt and GI top and told me to never do that again. This is the martial arts equivalent to wearing a white gown to someone else's wedding. LMAO yes. I growled at my neighbor when I was five. I used to bark at people I was chasing while playing soccer. Thinking it'll scare them that a dog is coming. It distracted them alright but I think a barking kid coming at you is more unnerving than an actual dog. My sister had a girl hiss at her during a soccer game. She hissed back. I would break dance in front of my large family at every event I could. Unfortunately my father likes to film things for memory so every so often I am reminded of my god awful dance moves as a 10 year old when we watch old home videos. I would also do finger guns at the camera afterwards like I was the best dancer ever filmed. Okay. At first I was thinking that's not that bad. Until you got to the finger guns. Getting a lollipop and acting like it was a cigarette. Have you seen kids with Smarties? Oh some of my old friends used to smoke Smarties. One of them ended up having a coughing fit. And the other got the dust in his eye and it turned all red. I thought raising my eyebrow at every little thing made me look cool. Looking back. It looked like I had problems. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. Bro. Do you even lift? Apparently bandanas looked cool was into guns and roses as young teen. But it wasn't a proper one. It was my granny's neck scarf lol. It's an ascot. It's gay Freddy. Not that there's anything wrong with that. But you need to know. For a minute I thought you were quoting Scooby Doo. Eating ants. When my brother was three. I found him eating ants. I asked why he was doing it. And he said I'm being Baloo the bear. This was such a reasonable explanation that seven year old me just shrugged and walked away. I thought I'd look so cool and badass drinking orange juice while eating mints at the same time without flinching or gagging. I did this at school and at various events. Thanks to that. I can now handle doing that no problem but it's bad knowing why it doesn't bother me. This reminds me of my friend in high school who would refuse the numbing injection when getting a filling at the dentist because he thought it was badass. Dude. The dentist doesn't give a shit and you're just making his job harder. I had a dentist who could do most minor fillings without it. Though he always gave you the option. I had a couple done at once. And on one side. I felt the tiniest pinch. And before I could even flinch. He stopped and said. I better give you a shot on this side. I'll be back in 15 minutes after it takes effect. Man. He was a great dentist. I ate flower roots because I thought it would turn me into a fairy or an imp. 
I had one wild imagination. That sounds like something from Pan's Labyrinth. LOL. Picking up the landline phone. Dialing a random number and attempting to prank the caller on the other side. Hello. Is Mr. Wall there please? He isn't. Can I talk to Mrs. Wall? Are you telling me there are no walls there? What's keeping the roof up then? I'm so using this. I used to wear two Hollister shirts with both collars popped up all the time. Jesus I hate looking at those pictures in my mom's house. Edit. Photo proof not the worst one by far. When you pop your collar. The bitch is gone holler. Fashion designer here. Pop collars originate in tennis and golf as a way to block your neck from the sun. Those two sports being traditionally rich people sports the trend was adopted as a status symbol by the Young Brooks Brothers slash Vineyard Vines Northeast preppy crowd who took it to college with them and passed the trend to the wannabe rich kid Abercrombie and Arapassel crowd who were then emulated by their younger brothers in high school who ushered in the rightful death of this trend in the mid-2000s. Perhaps it would revive again in 20 years when the kids of the people who embrace this trend see pictures of their dads with popped collars and then do it to be ironic. Until then your only option for successfully pulling of this not trend is to be a douche among douches. If you don't write scathing reviews of fashion trends for a major publication, you're missing your true calling in life. Douche among douches is my new favorite phrase. While mom was busy at the bank teller's window, I spotted a long row of light switches in a remote area of the lobby. As a badass kid, I reached up and turned off the entire row, plunging the bank in darkness. That, in turn, called the cops because bank staff thought the place was being robbed. Holy shit. Did your mom know it was you? She figured it out right away when the teller told her that there was a boy over by the light switches. To this day. Mom has never let me live it down. Damn. It must be tiring to have to hear that story every time there's a family gathering. You're right. Charlotte Lottie. It was also embarrassing to hear it yet again when I'd bring dates or friends home. Too. For some reason it's scaring me that you wrote their username like that. I had a rat tail when I was like 6. You and many other unfortunate kids. I was fortunate enough that my dad thought it was the dumbest trend. Fuck. I literally had one because my stepdad thought they were so cool. Wore a brown suede jacket with a Hawaiian shirt to my senior picture day. Gen Z would probably call that a whole vibe lol. Gen Z reporting here. I've been called TF out. I literally read that and I was like damn. That boy was drippin' before drip was a thing. I'd walk around the neighborhood with a toy lightsaber and challenge any kid I saw to a duel. Same thing when I got a dual disc. Edit. I'm glad nearly 500 of you kind people agree that this is badass. I would love to demolish any of you fine fools in battle if we cross paths. The only problem I see with this being done as an adult is that I don't have my own dual disc or lightsaber to duel you with. And really. That's more my issue than it is yours. Sunglasses all the time. Day. Night. Doesn't matter. Did you mean? My entire teenage experience. I remember watching some kind of anime where this dude would smack a tree with a stick for hours to train. So that's what I did. In my free time I would go in my backyard and whack my tree for hours with a stick. I thought I was badass. My parents probably thought I was crazy. Hey. At least it was the backyard and not the front yard. I lived in an apartment growing up. I thought it was hilarious to stand in the entryway of the apartment building as still as possible facing a wall. 
wearing an oversized t-shirt that covered the pair of shorts I had on. And then wear pants around my ankles. I was a bored kid. Your idea of a good time was to put yourself in time out? Ahem while pants. Yes that is correct. I used to walk and talk like a gangsta. How embarrassing. Shit. This reminds me of my backpack limp in high school. I'd wear my backpack on one shoulder and sag my pants. The weight being on one side gave me a ridiculous limp slash walk thing. My best friend still gives me shit about it 10 years later. One of my senior photos is actually me in leather with a sword in the middle of a cemetery. It's still a cool photo but it's like yeah. No. Edit. Against my better judgment. Here's the photo. It's a cool photo and I'd respect whoever took it but I don't wanna be you. Yeah no. I thought Dragon Ball Z was so cool and somewhere along the way noticed that their muscles would sorta twitch. I got the idea as a kid that arm twitch strength. So to convince my classmates in elementary school BTW I would try to flex my arm nonchalantly in a sort of pulse to make it seem like I was so strong that I had the muscle twitch thing happening. Back in kindergarten I used to run with my hands behind my back like Naruto. I would Naruto run. This was way before it was a meme and I only did it because my uncle, who lived with us at the time, showed me all his anime from when he was a kid. Edit. I now remember thinking it made me faster. It gives you the feel of going faster because you feel like you're falling forward. And the wind streaming on your body gives that feel of air resistance and slipstream. Slapping the top of the door frame in grade school. I still do this in my own house as a 41 year old man. Being an a-hole in general. Dude. I was a big asshole. I will literally apologize to every adult who knew me as a kid. This hits me so hard every day. Every adult is just trying to get through the day. It is so cringy when I see kids acting like assholes. I just want to shake the shit out of them. Wearing aviators that were way too big for my face. I always wear too big sunglasses. I like them like that. I thought I'd be really cool and order myself a brownie instead of my mum ordering for me 7 years old. So I very proudly said. Can I have a nut allergy please? Having read the wrong card in front of the brownie. LOL. The cashier and my mum cracked up at that. Teased in PPL like this. Practiced my Kamehameha form in the backyard. In case you're wondering. It was excellent. Doing Kamehamehas is timeless. I tried to give my mom one of those all my life kind of speeches. It didn't go like the movies. Edit. Thanks for the award. For the record. I got as far as all my life you always try to tell me what to do and where to go. Before my mom literally laughed out loud and B reminded me that this was not a movie and I still had to clean my room. Mother. I need to let you know that all my life. I've been searching for something. Something never comes and never leads to nothing. Nothing Sathifis but I'm getting close. Closer to the prize at the end of the road. Hmm you know I always thought it was end of the rope. Like the song was some allusion to suicide. End of the road sounds way less depressing. The neighborhood boys were tormenting me. They barricade me in the house next door to mine. So to get even. I pulled down my pants at them. They all screamed and ran away. Then. I scared them. It worked. Me now. Baby girl. No. Asserting dominance. I tried skateboarding. I failed. If you succeeded. It would be badass. Smoking. 
smoking literal grass rolled up in newspaper with friends when I was 12. Turned into cigarettes within a week or two. One of the friends was buying wheat off a guy on the school bus before the end of the quarter. He was the more strict ten narrow out of the group too. I learned more about cigarettes, alcohol, and drugs from the Boy Scouts than I did about camping. Grass. The gateway drug. Nobody calls it grass anymore. Carl. At around 8 to 9 years old. I decided I wanted vampire fangs. Best way to accomplish this. Grind my canine teeth with rocks. Literally cringe as an adult. Because they still occasionally sear with pain from a mistake made in a single afternoon. I would call it badass but hey. So when I was like 8 we went with my friend's family to public saunas. Some people were naked there. I got hard but instead of taking a towel to hide it I was walking around naked flexing my dick with every step. It must have been so cringy saying 8 year old flopping his dick around thinking it's okay. That happened to me once when I went skinny dipping my friend and his brothers. And his dad. I think. Now it seems weird lol. Around age 10. I think. We had just been talking about the Seinfeld episode about shrinkage. And I remember saying. With no awareness of how weird it was I have growage. What the fuck. Wear a green and blue chiffon scarf around my neck while sporting a green t-shirt with a teal. Blue and green plaid skirt and a green plaid headband. Which of course matched the green chain on my braces. So hot slash s.